Welcome back to another AC on the Go video. We are here at Universal Studios to ride some rides, get some POVs. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We basically just ate a Cinnabon. It was pretty good. So here's a little POV. POV, have you eaten a Cinnabon? Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> it's definitely better than ours. Was it? Hyperventilating. Shout out to all my hyperventilators out there. Okay, so now we're gonna go over to the chocolate board and you can see it. So let's go. Okay, so we are here at the chocolate emporium to get some food, so let's head in. So we just stepped into their little store here, Chocolate Emporium store, where they do have some merch as well as chocolates, even some candy corn. That was a very interesting place. <laughs> have a place that you can come over and get some macaroons and looks like some little pieces of chocolate. Okay. Here are the macaroons and macarons or however you say that. Looking really good too. Tons of colors and flavors. Strawberry cheesecake. And they have just all other kinds of candies and chocolates that you can see here as well. Trying, like, you want to see trying every macaroon <laughs> here. Yeah, right. That'd be crazy. They're sweet. If chocolate is not your thing, they also have a ton of different flavors of cotton candy, as well as just some other sugary. Oh, these are all chocolate. Wow. I thought I there were some other why. options besides chocolate. There's I think that's chocolate. over there. Oh yeah, you're right. Those are kind of cool. Well, here are some other options that are not chocolate. Some little candy sweet rocks. We're just currently waiting for our table. They do have some trinkety things that you can buy too that are kind of funky looking. They also have a... Okay, so we're gonna do a short segment while we're waiting for our table called Reading Your Comments. As you can see, I actually got a notey right here. Haven't even opened it yet. Let's see what it says. Really enjoy your vlog. I can't wait to film at Magic Kingdom, but the reservations are so packed. Always, I hope to see you soon in sub. Smash the like button. Shout out to you, Louis Medeiros. I hope that's how you pronounce your name. <laughs> this has been live comments with Carter. <laughs> they also have some fudge over here in this corner. We did find out that the macaroons are $3.50 each. And then they also have where you can get them I think she said, uh, I don't remember what she said. I know for sure they're 350 each. They do have crazy milkshakes here, as you can see. Different flavors that you can get. Ooh, that red velvet looks good. Look at that, it's got a whole red velvet cupcake on top of that milkshake. That's crazy. Banana pudding, I guess, key lime pie, cookie dough, red velvet, chocolate. So we wanted to show you the full menu since you can actually see the full menu now, not just outside. Some soups and salads, pasta options, sandwiches. Yes, it is really loud in here. 
And we got some of the cheeseburgers here, the burgers, and then some of their other entrees. And they also have, then they also have some appetizers. And some flatbreads. And they also serve brunch, brunch all day. So that looks good as well. Even quiche. So that is a look at their menu. Quarter rib deep thoughts of the week. If you're bald, does that mean that you have a bad hairline? Or do you get to choose where your hairline's at? Quick fun fact. Have you ever wondered if we're like, if we were like bobbleheads or something and we are just constantly going? Well, how you doing today? Okay, so here's the Mahusa burger. It is a half pounder. I got lettuce. Here's their signature sauce. I really don't, I got it on the side, so. And then they got some french fries. Eat your french onions. There's some triple fries and some french onions. Whoa. It's just like a mayonnaise, mustard, and pickles all in one. So maybe instead of putting that stuff on the burger, they put this thing on it. You definitely probably got it on the side. It's not that good, but. Time to try the burger. It has bacon on it? It's called a bacon cheddar burger. It didn't say bacon on it, it just said cheddar burger. I don't know if I'm gonna get my whole mouth around it, it's in my mouth. Well, just keep in mind that we got music going, so. It's not copper. It's gonna hurt, though. Mmm. Definitely different. Yeah. Only you have like American, American on a burger. Nice different touch of the cheddar. Okay. The bacon's pretty good. Lettuce has a nice flavor. Burger's pretty good. Yeah. Fries. Pretty good. How's that special sauce? Big L. No, you don't like the sauce. It's like mayonnaise and mustard with pickles in it. So it's like instead of putting that stuff on the burger, they just put it in the sauce. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna try the burger with some mayo. This is not what I normally do. Better? Yeah. This French onion soup is pretty good as well. It has kind of a different taste to it, but it's pretty good. The fries are really soft. They're not super crunchy. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. They don't have that snap. Right. They kind of have that mushy. They're like weak fries. No snap. Now, I've had some pretty killer food ideas, such as the double stacker for chicken sandwiches. You ever thought of a french fry kebab? Easy access. Load up like a machine gun. So it is really pretty out here at night. You can see the chocolate emporium, the smokestacks up there. Well, that thing is tall. Yeah, it is really it looks tall. Like you can see the Hard Rock Cafe. Yeah, right next to the Hard Rock Cafe. Oh yeah, I see that. But yeah, it's really pretty out here at nighttime. You see everything lit up with all the lights. They've got some kind of like live music or something going on on the stage over there. And then they still got these little boats going through, shuttling people, I think, to and from um, the resorts and the parks. Of course, the parks are closed. They close early now. I think they're closing at five during the week. But as you can see, not a ton of people here tonight, so the crowd levels are not really that bad, honestly. So, so we just finished here at Universal Studios. The Chocolate Emporium, yeah. 
the chocolate emporium. So we had a really fun time, really good food. I would rate the burger a seven. Really? Or five is average. Well, so basically our sci-fi burger, I rated a six, which I really want to scale down to a <laughs> four. Below average. Right. I said this was one step up, so I'm gonna give this a five. Average yeah. burger. Average. And the, the the truffle fries and the other fries were just different. Like Carter said, they were just really soft, which is kind of different, I guess. It's kind of like you just let them sit underwater overnight. They're kind of soggy. Yeah. So those are just okay. But they were like soggy. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't get them again. Oh, and the hungry. French onion soup was okay. Um, it had a pretty good taste. It just had kind of a different taste in it. I'm not sure what it was, but it was different. But it was okay. Um, I don't know that I would get it again, but, you know, it was all right. So, don't, don't forget, forget to, to turn, turn on, on the AC. AC.